Oh, yeah. Love it. Hey, what's up, people? What's up, Ekram Kara? I hope I pronounced that right. I never know when I do. I gotta come out of the dungeon eventually. <laughs> Everybody says I live in my mom's basement. <laughs> You're half right. I live in a basement. It's just not my mother's. She's fucking dead. It's my basement, motherfuckers. Anywho, <clears throat> so here we have this wall of fucking text sent to me by one Mr. Ekrum Kara, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through that and I'm going to dissect that and have fun with that. And I hope everybody has fun. <laughs> because otherwise, why are we fucking doing this? I have no idea why would we be doing this. Okay, so I have a complete... Complete, completely different view of, about Jesus. Okay, I, I wouldn't say it's probably it's probably not completely different, but I get I get what you're saying. The Panther legend is just some propaganda to put him in a bad light by saying his mother was so and so. I actually agree with you on that. I agree with you 100. percent The reason that I brought up the Talmud was not because of that. I know I referenced that, but the important part is the seven disciples. So if you take the five brothers and then you take the two other brothers, meaning Simon and Andrew, then you get the seven. That's why I really brought it up. I know I didn't make that clear. It's all right. It's all good. No, I, I agree that that, that that was a legend that they were basically trying to say he was illegitimate. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I think Jesus was a guru who at one point in his life went to the east till his 30s. When he came back to teach. Now there are legends about this. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not averse to that. I'm not averse to that, except for the fact that I don't really think the case is there to be made. I think it would be cool. I really do. I know. I know. There's a lot of. Look, my great grandmother, who is my spiritual, she's basically, um, I don't even know how to fucking put this. Um, she's basically my spiritual anchor, my great grandmother. And one of the things she was really into was something called the I am cult. And what they would do is they, they would do this thing about, um, they were called ascended masters. And the ascended masters, and there were some from the East, some from some of them historical, some of them fictional. Point is, they created a mythology. It was a novel mythology when they created it, which I think was like in the late 18th, early 19th century when, when they came out with that. It's the I am cult. Capital I, capital A, capital M, with the space between the I and the A. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, a lot of people have, you know, weirdo beliefs about things. Um, where we get those from, it's mostly psychological. Do I think Jesus was somebody who, I know there's the missing, the missing years. I, I get that. I don't think they were, you know, were they missing or not? I mean, we just don't know. Not suppressed. You know, missing is like, so he was, you know, banging out tables. He was a carpenter, right? Maybe he was just banging out tables for 18 years. I mean, you remember that part in Superman, the movie, when the young Clark and his different actor, and he flies, and he doesn't fly in there. He basically hitchhikes his way and whatnot and gets up to the North Pole and then finds the fucking then throws the green thing, and then it makes the fortress of solitude, and then blah, blah, blah. Then he puts the crystal in, and it's like the mask goes on his face, and it says, you will have aged 25 years. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know? It's a mythology. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to deal with the real guy. Um, I mean, what he did with the years that we're not written about, I mean, maybe he went to the planet Mars, and he, he discovered martial arts. <laughs> no fucking idea. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just, I'm just making fun of the whole concept. The reason could be a feeling of guilt and searching for catharsis. See the Coptic Gospel of Thomas. 
He apparently killed a boy when he was five. Oh, do you mean the infancy gospel? Um, are you talking about, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think. You talking about running with running with the fucking uh, relay, relay pen. Man, you're running with that shit. You got that shit hard. I don't know, man. <laughs> Learning more about the three mysterious magi. Fact, we do not know when, what Jesus did between childhood until becoming 30. True, as a, that is a fact. He must have gotten a teacher. Why? why? Th that must implies a why. A guru, and he must have had contact with Eastern mysticism in India or ancient Persia. Why? Must implies a why. Why? I don't, I don't, I don't see why. I know my voice is still fucking picking up. I don't want to write too much. I already did. I'm kidding. <laughs> As there is so much to look into here, but some points to consider. The Holy Trinity, Advaita. <coughs> Wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just because the Buddhists have, they always do the fucking, the, the, the way they do it with the numerical shit. Advaita is not even singular. Is less than singular. So the fact that there are always in the... I know what you're fucking saying. You're basically saying Nirmanakaya, Sambhakaya, and um, Dharma, uh, Dharmakaya. The three bodies. And, and, and I know what you... No, 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 no. No, stop that right there. Holy shit. I lost my fucking thing. Uh, Brahma... Ramakaira, check, Ahisma, check. These are not my fucking words. There is no part in the Bible where he became violent. <laughs> well, that depends on your, your conception of what violence is. I would say that, I would say that kicking over the tables at the temple Money changers, I would say that was violent because it was gonna it was gonna take a violent response to put it down. That was an act of violence. But we, we don't need to like I'm not saying Jesus went around. Remember the Sakari operated behind the scenes. This is not a movement that is out there like they learned the lessons from the Maccabees. That's why I, and that's why I brought up the Maccabees in the last video, is because they learned the lessons from the motherfuckers. You want to be behind the scenes. You want to be plotting. You want to be fucking like, basically what he got killed for, sedition. You want to be fucking like whispering to people's ears and getting them to wake the fuck up to what's going on. Shit. So anywho, oh my God. There is no part in the Bible where he became violent. Let's take a look at John 14 to 15. He made a whip out cords and drove all of them out of the temple areas with their sheep and oxen and spilled the coins out of the money changers and overturned the tables. There is no clear indication that Jesus used violence here. Now imagine that scene. There are many men driven out by Jesus fearing his cord whip. See, look, this is, here's the problem. Look, if I want to, all right, let me, let me just uh, was Jesus a reincarnation? No, no, not, definitely not. Um, most definitely two different individuals. I'll, I'll get back to the other thing in a second. Sorry. Uh, because there's so many. You know, a book that I can recommend to you on, on these same lines that you're, you're, you're talking to me is a book called Jesus Lived in India. And it was written by a guy named, I think, Hans... Colger or Holger or some shit, but you'll be able to figure it out. Jesus lived in India. It's one of those really interesting books where it's like it makes you think for a second, but then you kind of have to just go by preponderance of evidence. And um, the fucking um, yeah, the, the thing, and what you're doing is is ultimately um, giving a little bit too much credence to I don't know these stories 
in a sense, especially because the only the only quote you give is John, and he's the least reliable of all of the uh, four Gospels. He's actually less reliable than, well, he's equally reliable to Thomas because Thomas gives his fucking Gospel as a dialogue or as a series of back and forth conversation. So there is no context to it. Which may be why it's not included, but who the fuck knows, right? Can't get inside these, you know, maybe if it, and never mind, that, that was a bad joke. They did not see the light of day. Because if it did, whatever. Hey man, break your shit up into like fucking, like, like many ideas or something next time you send something like that in. But no, but seriously, um, I don't think, I don't think you have a coherent vision of who Jesus was. You remind me of myself, like maybe 25, 30, 35 years ago, where it's just like you, you hear about this guy, like I was telling you about my great grandmother and the I am cult, the I am religion, where they basically had these ascended masters and they picked and choose and they, they had they had the best from every religion. You better guarantee it. You know what I'm saying? Get all if you if you're gonna build a superhero team. Who are you going to put on the fucking team? You're going to put the best guys on your team. You're going to have your Superman. You're going to have your Wonder Woman. You're going to have your fucking Batman. You're going to have your Spider-Man. You're going to have your fucking Captain America. And your fucking Iron Mans and shit. And your Hulks. And then what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pick and choose, motherfucker. You can, you can have any, anybody you want. And that's how they were. You know? But she still will always be, like, I'm going to say ancestor spirit. Her the fuck people call him. But no, seriously. My great grandmother was fucking like super fucking awesome. All right, so like that's my trash can. All right. So this, this, the rest of this video is just going out to everybody. This is, I don't actually have a house. So this is me getting ready to cook my food. This is going to be orange chicken. That's orange peels. Then I have my up there, there. Yep, got that. Um, let me see. Got the red pepper soaking, get them rehydrated and shit like that. This is my kitchen. Got got a lot of sodas and fucking water bottles and shit. You know, it's a pantry. This is for all these fuckers that say I live in my mother's basement. <laughs> yeah, fuck all. As my kids passed to go to school, except that was for last year, but he doesn't realize he had to throw it away. So then this is upstairs. So that's downstairs right there. It's like, I'll, I'll come back down. Fuck it. You know, but Ekram, seriously, I think, you know, we all make up our ideas of what we want things to be. This is my son's room. He's super messy, super gay. And it's my daughter's room. Yeah, she's kind of messy too, but whatever. <laughs> And then this is my room, but you're not going to see it because it's dark in here, bro. It's super dark, and I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. My room is bare bones, man. One one ring to kill them all. So, yeah, I got to do something about them fucking wires and shit. That's my bed. Yeah, it looks pretty fucked up. Those there, I just did that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Closet. Whatever the fucks. Bathrooms, whatever the fucks. Yeah, this is definitely my mother's house. You can obviously see she's here right now. So she's rotting in the graves. No, we cremated her. I had the ashes. I lost them. Kids' bathroom. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, I know, right? Look at this shit. This is this is some crazy shit whenever I see this. I have to walk down it. I'm like, oh shit. Watch me fucking spill my fucking beans. It's going to suck dicks. <laughs> no, I think it's a good question. Um, I don't have all the answers. I could be 100% wrong. This is, yeah, this is downstairs. This is where I have to go to get the weed. My favorite picture where the video started. This is going to be a long video. It's just for you, bro. Well, sort of. It's for anyone. It's for everyone. The light's still on. I have no idea why. And yes, chaos is only going to get worse. This even moved because <laughs> I had to, 
I had to play chess with a guy that was a lot taller than me. But um, yeah, oh shit. Die from my codex. I get it working on that. I got some work to do. And my glasses. I'm covering up another secret text. It is what it is. Whoever you think that guy was, that's who you think he was. I have my best guesses. You have yours. We'll have some fun with it. Um, but no, thanks for the, all the questions. They were pretty cool. I always enjoy you know, dealing with people that enjoy dealing with me. And yet, I'm always back here. Uh, oh, shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. Gotta go. See ya.